Hi all, welcome to Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. It's not required of. Uh, yeah, this is how to install packages for Python, especially in Raspberry Pi. So in Python, we have we can work in two different modes. One is interactive mode, and another one is shell mode. Interactive mode is nothing but uh, to work under the shell system, shell of a particular system or that particular command prompt of the system. So what that uh, distance or that particular application will be making us difference in the sense, other than the environment only to provide a separate coding. We require the script or the shell amount of uh, structure. If you want to execute any of the code, therefore we can just go directly towards the. So here I have uh, enabled my Python three from the command prompt itself. So here for single line executions, I can use this particular uh, place. Sorry. Import and utils. So like for uh, single line execution or to check any of the packages are present or not. So like this kind of uh, functions, I will be able to uh, use this particular uh, command. And if you want to write uh, 10 lines or 20 lines or 100 lines of code, you can go with this script mode. So Python is very easy to work even with the multiple kind of uh, interaction and mostly many of them won't be using interactive mode in windows because it is very difficult to configure that particular uh, interaction mode so this is the script mode where we will be writing the coding over here and we will be able to view our visuals even here also we can uh, provide the single line codings like the so same what we have uh, done in that interactive mode can be done even in shell mode this is known as shell where we could see all the So that is nothing but the application of the shell window. So this is all just uh, basic working in Python. A Jupyter notebook is meant for Python only especially for data science so whenever you are working in this uh, coding we have to know what are all the common errors which we will be facing over that so among that the syntax error runtime error semantic error and uh, indentation error then we will be having some attribute error so based on that particular errors only we have to be prepared uh, to clear out it okay it is not a much kind of a complicated one basically whenever you are programming in uh, python we have to maintain that particular indentation so without maintaining that indentation it is not possible to work in python so regarding that we will be seeing when we start to work in different programs yeah semantic error uh, comes under th with the packages that is the rare of the rarest error whichever it has occurred the most errors which we will be facing is uh, syntax and uh, indentation in case if you are going with uh, image processing you will be facing with attribute error so we have to know what is the particular kind of data types available in coding and 
data analytics it is little bit difficult iot definitely this is an iot program only so within this uh, data type we have to know what are the data types available integer float string okay so only these three data types we will be using it in uh, python so at last you might have seen that d equal to single quotes of c so you will be uh, thinking it as whether it is taken in the form of uh, character or string definitely this particular uh, python everything is taken in form of string only string integer float those are the main things which are we require whenever we work in python not like uh, we have to go with the double long that kind of functions and all those and all are rarely used over here so here how to uh, do that particular kind of uh, string or conversion of the string it is very easy in python so now let us see a demo on that So here, where is the shell window? You can work in shell window itself. Python shell. So within this uh, shell window, I am typing the command or that particular keyword as int, known for integer. So here, if I provide it as value of 4.7, okay, and if I execute it, therefore. it will be converted into the integer because this particular value whatever i have provided as input it comes as a float so from that if i want to convert it you can directly con uh, provide that command which ever should be converted and from that you can provide the data which ever you require over that so from that we will be able to convert to as the uh, required kind of data type which ever we need then similarly if i provide the float 4. Point, sorry we'll give it as 4 then only we will be able to see it so it will be providing it as 4.0 so in this way only we will be able to work it and uh, excuse me professor uh, it is not that this is a python session so we will be just going as a step by step only so without knowing python there is no use of working in the raspberry pi so python is the main programming for iot in raspberry pi okay so please understand the importance of this particular language so in this way only we will be able to work in shell as well as the data type conversion can be done so with other two practical of uh, string then we will be going to the iot oriented section introduction to iot so the most important thing we have to know is data type conversion as well as the string only because whatever the data we upload towards a cloud or whatever the messages we send towards a system or uh, through internet so everything will be done only with the help of uh, string only and the data type conversion the data's whatever we read from the sensors it is read by digital and uh, some of the sensors we also have to convert into the analog to digital and these both values whatever we are getting should be converted into string because after converting into the string only we will be able to pass the message so for that only i have just uh, shown you a demo on data type conversion over that so generally everyone knows that what is a string set of characters between the double quotes 
the how to work on this characters or how to work on this particular uh, string function generally most of the requirement is nothing but we have to multiply this uh, number of words or we have to combine two words over here so for that kind of functions only we are using this string function which is the easiest function in all the programming languages okay so here i am providing test a equal to iot and c equal to a plus b so now we have to print c over here then we will be able to combine this way so this kind of string concatenation we are using over here basic application of the string